When Thomas Markle awakens at his cliffside home in Rosarito, Mexico, today, there will be conflicting feelings. He turned 80 years old today. Nevertheless, there won't probably be anything from his well-known daughter Megan among the numerous cards and gifts that are just waiting to be opened. Tom Markle is merely anticipating a phone call. Not even a message via email. I've never been big on birthdays, but I know the one person I really want to hear from, Megan, won't be in touch. He bemoaned in Sunday's edition of the mail to my colleague Caroline Graham. At this point, I would be content with a photograph, but I would love to meet my grandchildren, Prince Archie, who is five years old, and Princess Lilibet, who turned three last month, are strangers to Mr. Markle. Additionally, he has never met his son-in-law, the Duke of Sussex, despite the fact that a thrilled Meghan first introduced them over the phone when their courtship first started. In 2018, Mr. Markle and his daughter split up. After posing for photos in contentious situations, he was unable to accompany her on her wedding day. The day before Harry and Meghan's wedding, the former Hollywood lighting director had two heart attacks. He hasn't been in contact with the pair since. Meghan's distance from her father worried Queen Elizabeth so much that the late monarch advised Meghan to write to him. In the Netflix documentary series Harry and Meghan, the Duchess acknowledged that she had consulted the Queen, in her own words. I said to Her Majesty, this is what's going on. What action do you want me to take? I would like whatever guidance you have. I in the end, the Prince of Wales, now King Charles, and the Queen recommended that I send a letter to my father, which she accomplished, albeit perhaps not in the way Queen Elizabeth had hoped. I thought it would be an olive branch, Mr. Markle said in reference to the lengthy letter he got later. Rather, it struck a deep wound to the heart. Meghan's separation from her father was significant, as the late Queen had recognized. At the time, Meghan's public arguments with her father raised concerns. A royal source informs me. Her Majesty became aware of the possible harm they could cause to the royal family as a whole, according to the source. Looking back, the Queen might have had an inkling of what was to come. Since then, Meghan has naturally grown distant from Mr. Markle, his other kids, her half-sister and brother, as well as the larger royal family, as this week's birthday served as a reminder. Yesterday was Queen Camilla's 77th birthday. She was so taken aback by Harry's criticism of her in his book, Spare, that one of her closest friends, the Marchioness of Lansdowne, made the extremely rare public appearance to defend her. Harry characterized his stepmother in the book as dangerous and a villain who had sacrificed him on her personal PR altar. Lady Lansdowne said that the Queen seemed offended by the personal jab, saying, it concerns her. Harry and Meghan have conveyed in recent months that they are eager to patch things up with the royal family. They seem keen to announce that on King Charles's birthday in the previous autumn, they had had a cordial phone chat. After the King's cancer diagnosis was made public, Harry undertook a hasty trip across the Atlantic, traveling more than 5,000 miles to meet his father. Still, the Sussexes appear committed to taking a chance on strife. The couple's obstinate inability to listen to criticism was demonstrated by Harry's choice to accept the Pat Tillman Award last week in spite of objections from thousands of people, including the late American hero's own mother, Mary. Given their apparent decline in favor in the U.S., maybe it's time to patch things up back home in Britain.